Hello guys, in this tutorial series we will cover the 500 plus question related to the Selenium web driver. First question is, why do we create the reference variable driver of the type web driver and what is the purpose of its creation? We create the object of the web driver interface and cast it to the different browser class using the reference variable driver. And we can use the different method of the web driver interface like get, get tighter, close to write the automation code. Next question is, what are the type of the exceptions you have faced in the Selenium? This, this is the most important question in the Selenium interview that what different type of exception you have faced in the Selenium web driver. Different type of exceptions like no such element exception, no such window exception, uh, no such frame exception, timeout exception, ele element not visible exception. Means we have faced the different, these are the different type of the exception that we have faced Next question is what is the implicit weight in the Selenium web driver? Implicit weight means it is the global weight which is applicable to the all element which is present on the particular web page. Also we say that the implicit weight will tell the web driver to wait for the certain amount of time before it throwing the no such element exception. The default time of the implicit weight is zero and once you set the time the web driver will wait for the particular amount of time before throwing the exception and its syntax is driver.manage.timeout.implicitly wait here we have to give the time for that we have to wait and after that time unit dot second next question is what is explicit weight in the selenium web driver explicit weight are the concept from the dynamic weight which weight dynamically for the specific condition mean explicit weight tell the web driver to wait for a particular condition satisfied it can be implemented by the web driver weight class and its syntax is web driver weight weight is equal to new web driver weight and here we have to pass the driver object and also uh, time that we have to wait for the particular condition satisfied wait dot until expected conditions dot element to be clickable here we have to use the different conditions like element to be clickable visibility of element to be located alert is if alert is a present means we use the different different conditions of the uh, expected uh, expected conditions next question is what is a fluent weight fluent means if we have to wait for the huge amount of time that type that this time that time we use the fluent weight in the selenium web driver fluent weight means each fluent weight instance define the maximum amount of time to wait for a particular condition as well as the frequency with which to check the condition furthermore the user may configure to wait to ignore the specific type of exception means we ignore the uh, we also ignore the specific type of exception such as no such element exception when searching the element on the page next question is how to input the text into the text box field without calling the send keys send keys for that we have to use the javascript executor interface for that we have to create the first stop means casting the javascript executor and use the uh, executor dot executor script document dot get element by id and then here we have to pass the value which we have to send in this syntax next question is how to clear the text inside the text box field using the web driver to clear the text we have to use the clear method of the web element interface and here it will the syntax that driver dot find element by dot text box id dot clear method this is the clear method Next question is how to get the attribute value of the element using the Selenium web driver. When we have to get the attribute value of particular element of any element, that time we use the get attribute method. That time we use the get attribute method of the web element interface. Next question is how to press the enter key on the text box in the Selenium web driver. For to press enter key on the text box, we use the send keys method and here we have to here we have to write the keys dot enter next question is how to pause the text execution for the five second at a specific point to pause the text execution we use the different command like driver dot wait and here we have to pass the time also we can use the thread dot sleep and here we have to pass the time in the millisecond next question is in selenium server is selenium needed server needed to run the selenium web driver script 
as we know there is a different component of the selenium like selenium rc selenium web driver selenium ide that is internet development environment in selenium rc we have to uh, start the selenium server first and then execute the test script but in case of selenium web driver it does not require to start the selenium server for executing the test state script and the selenium web driver make the call between the browser and the automation script next question is what happen if we run this command driver.get in bracket www.google.com as we know the get method is a method of the web driver interface and it will load a new web page in the current browser window with the website url set to the www.google.com this is the using the http get operation and the method we block until the load is a complete next question is what is the alternative to driver.get method to the open url using selenium web driver there is a one method like driver.navigate which is used to the alternative options of the alternative option to open the url using the selenium web driver then what is the difference between the driver.get and the driver.navigate dot to url command as we know driver.get and the driver.navigate these are the method of the web driver element web driver interface driver.get is used to navigate the particular url and will wait until the page load but in the case of the driver.navigate is used to navigate to the particular url and does not wait the uh, page load and one important point point about the driver.navigate is that it maintain the browser history or cookies to navigate the back or forward these are the all question related of the selenium interview question in the next series we will cover other interview questions related to the selenium web driver thank you